Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how I got this makeup look. I recently wore this in one of my other videos talking about a specific palette that I'm also going to be using in today's video. And this is going to be a super easy everyday makeup look, especially for those of you who love warm tone makeup. I think you will love this. So starting with the base, since it's an everyday look, I wanted something very light, so I opted for my BB cream, which I usually do. I just love how light it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel like I caked up my skin. And then if I need extra coverage, I just use my concealer. I just feel like my skin can still kind of breathe and it's not like covered in layers and layers of makeup. I've been applying my concealer like this now for months and I still love how it defines my eyes and like my facial bone structure kind of complements everything so nicely so I love doing that I'm setting very lightly with a powder wherever I feel like I'm looking too shiny but I don't powder my entire face I want to keep kind of like a natural glow on my face I'm going to be warming up my face by adding some bronzer, which I really love to add bronzer, but especially blush. Blush just brings back life to your face like nothing else does. When someone says, oh, I'm not a blush person, I don't like to use blush, I'm just like, how? When I don't use blush, I hate how my makeup looks. For eyeshadow, I'll be using this Etude House Eye Palette. It's the Caffeine Holic palette. I absolutely love this so much. I am pretty neutral to cool, but I still love using it. And do keep in mind that since I'm pretty fair, this palette looks a lot more like warm toned and more like extravagant on me than if you had a little bit of a deeper skin tone. I think that for someone who's like medium skin toned, this could be the perfect everyday warm palette. I love to reach for this during the fall time, but also during the summertime. Kind of gives you like that burnt, bronzy kind of look. So I love this. Everything blends so easily. And I'm basically taking just all matte shades and I just deepen my crease with each shade at a time. And that is basically how I did my eye makeup. It's super simple and easy. And this palette just makes it super easy for you. I like to clean up with a little bit of powder again so everything is a little sharper and also on my eyelid blending the colors a bit better. Do your eyeliner how you like it. I'm going to do mine how I usually do it by doing like the tiniest little wing and then I like to go in with an eyeshadow because it kind of just smudges over any little mistake you did. Makes it more like soft and smoky. And it always looks perfect this way. So I really recommend you try this. If I don't do this, I don't like my eyeliner. It's crazy. For mascara, I'm going to be using my favorite mascara at the moment, which is this one from Romand. It's the Han All Fix Mascara. Everything I'm using will be linked down below if I happen to not mention a product specifically. Don't worry, it's all in the description box. But this mascara is so good if you like natural to find lashes. For my brows, nothing special. Filling in a few gaps with my brow pencil and then finishing it off with a um, brow mascara or like brow gel and that's pretty much all I do. I like brows that look very natural Not too filled in and I've been really enjoying to embrace my natural fluffy brows and Yeah, it just works with my simple <laughs> Effortless routine so well to just do two steps when it comes to my brows. Now onto lips, you can definitely do whatever you like, keep it completely nude, add a color, whatever you want, 
I'm starting off with a nude lipstick as a base and then I'm going in with a more rosy color in the inner part but don't worry, I don't leave it like that I just blend it all together so it kind of creates a very natural gradient but also a little bit more of a lighter pink color since we are mixing it with a nude and I think this is perfect for every day I really enjoyed this look like overall, I think it's so nice and last but not least, highlighting my nose my cupid's bow and my inner corners and we're done thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up or don't it's completely up to you and i hope to see you in my next video take care